kindergarten class. I was just going to check in because we're getting close to the weekend and we're going to be celebrating Easter this weekend and I've been missing y'all like crazy. So I was going to um, tell you to grab your favorite stuffed animal, pile up in your bed and let's do a little bit of reading together. Um, I have some Easter books I wanted to share with you that I was going to share with you in class but since we haven't been able to go to school I thought I'd come read to you anyway. So go grab your favorite stuffed animal hit pause on the video and then come back and let's read. All right, is everybody back? Got your favorite animal? Cool, all right. So Miss Price wanted to share with you a book called Catch That Egg. I'll turn my camera just a little bit. <clears throat> Catch That Egg, written by Lucy Rowland. So she's the author, and the illustrator is Anna Trubowski. Can't say that word very well. Flip Flop was a bunny with the most enormous feet. His friends could hear him coming with his very bouncy beat. Do you hear some rhyming words? Beat and feet? Yeah. He liked to skip, and he liked to hop, and he liked to jump around. And he loved the boinging noises as he bounded along the ground. That bunny has got some big feet. But one day in his burrow, as he hopped across the floor, his mama said, stop it, flop it. I can't take it anymore. You're making such a racket. Can't you go outside and play? So Hop It thought, I'll find my friends and hop off on this way. But Chicken was too busy. She was guarding lots of eggs when Flop It came out jumping on his long and happy legs. Chicken didn't want to play. Stop it, Flop It! Chicken said, your noisy wet feet will shake them. My eggs are very precious. It's important not to break them. She's worried about her eggs. Poor Flop It, he just wants to hang out. She was with her sleepy lambs all curled up in the hay when Flop It came a skipping and a hopping up that day. Stop it, Flop It, muttered Sheep. You're making such a din. Din must mean loud word, loud noise, din. You're making such a din. It must be loud noise. That's what din means. Hop off towards the cow shed now and see if cow is in. Hoppet has yet to find himself somebody to play with. But Cow was with her baby calves and looking a little busy when Floppet came a hopping by and left her feeling dizzy. Uh oh, the baby calf got all dizzy. <gasps> Stop it, Floppet! grumbled Cow. They're learning how to walk. Your bouncing isn't helping, and I haven't time to talk. Poor Floppet. So Flop It tried his other friends, but Dog and Cat and Pig said, Stop it, Flop It, quiet now. Flop It peered down at his feet and then slowly hopped away. Look at his face. How does he feel? Perhaps I'm just too bouncy. Oh, I just want to play. Flop It's kind of feeling sad, I think. It wasn't too long later that the bunny hopped along and heard some noisy shouting. Oh, the thought, there's something wrong. He stopped and he watched and he waited and then he saw a cow running past. Her calf had knocked poor chicken's egg off and off it rolled so fast. Uh oh, the problem, there's a problem. The egg is on a roll. The egg spread, sped quickly down the hill and Cow ran right past Flop It 
Catch that egg, poor chicken yelled. But no cow could stop it. Oh, flop it and stop it are rhyming words. The egg rolled past the big barn doors where sheep stood just inside. Catch that egg, the cow cried out. It's going to break, she cried. Inside and cried are rhyming words too. It rolled past the dog. It rolled past the egg. Catch that egg, sheep said. Catch that egg. They yelled to pig. It flew right past pig's head. Well, they have got a problem. An egg is on a roll. The egg went up and up and then was falling through the sky, but luckily the animals saw Floppet hopping by. Such bouncy feet, such hoppy legs. Was he the one to stop it? They pointed up towards the egg and shouted, Catch it, Floppet! Oh, now they need Mr. Floppet to help them. Floppet crouched down really low and with one mighty jump, he sprang up high and caught the egg and then landed with the thump. The friends all gave a great big cheer. The lambs began to bleat. What does it mean to bleat? Meh, bleat. Hip hop hooray for Hoppet and his very fancy feet. Hoppet felt so proud. But then the egg began to shake. He heard a little crack. And then the shell, it began to break. He rushed the egg to the chicken, but he tripped up on his feet. The egg flew slowly through the air and landed with a... What's going to happen? Make a prediction. What's going to happen? Tweet! A head popped out and then two small legs and Chicken shouted, Quick! Catch it, flop it, laughed his friends. You've got to catch that chick. The end. So, where did the story take place? I'm going to think that it probably took place on a farm because there was all those farm animals in the, in the story and there's a barn. That would be the setting. And who are our characters in our book? There was Floppet and the cow, the chickens, the pigs, the cow. I already said the cow. The dog, the cat. Those are all your characters. And then what about, what was their problem? What was the problem in the story? You're right. The problem was the egg was rolling away and someone had to stop it. So when you're reading, be sure that you ask yourself those questions. Who's the character? Where's the setting? Where's it taking place? And what's the problem? And how do they solve it? All right, I just wanna say Happy Easter and I'm gonna do one more video of a reading another book, so be sure to watch.